Uh, I want to be wherever you are. Hi, sorry, we're going to have to do the wrath thing again because unfortunately I unplugged my shit and the sound did not work so we didn't get to hear everything. So I shall do it all over again but hopefully it'll be a lot shorter. This is Fat Man. I showed you this previously. I was originally going to bury him in my mom's backyard and she was like, how about we cremate him so that way he's still with you? Because, like, you've had him for a long time. I was like, thank you, Mom. You're awesome. So we got him, like, two Thursdays ago. This is a small tin, and he's still fucking heavy. This is literally, like, almost five pounds. And he was a 20-pound cat. There was an additional $50 because he was 20 pounds. Well, 19.95. But they round up because they want the money, which is fine. Because, like, I can't imagine the smell is great. Nor do I imagine whatever, but still, at least the thing was here. But he is here with me still, on my chest. It's a nice feeling. Unless he's still with me. Mom didn't think it was funny that I said that she should be proud of the one kid who's willing to bury a body. She was so happy because she's obsessed with that IDTV shit. She watches shit like that. I don't know how she could be. Like, she'll have that on her TV and on her phone playing at the same time while she sleeps. That's all she fucking watches. I mean, back in the day, it used to be soap operas. But then she found out she could watch, like, court cases on shit. And it was just like, oh, now I know how to make a necklace out of teeth and vaginas. And it's just, anyway, um, strangely enough, just to add in, because, like, personal life shit. And I feel like talking about it. And I ain't mentioned no names. So if someone gets mad that I'm saying something, that's on them. Because, you know, I could have sworn people said that they didn't give a fuck what I do. But, you know. But, um, when I was getting this with my mom, she mentioned a relative who I haven't been getting along with it for, for the past, like, few years. As it, like, which is weird, because it's just, like, they were always, like, it doesn't matter. But then this relative apparently had told my mom that they had offered to pay for my divorce. I was confused, because they never told me that. You know, and I even asked my mom, she was like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, well, that's what they said. Well, I'm glad they offered it to you, but they didn't say shit to me, so that's a lie. Well, that's what they said. Well, it's a lie, because they never told me that. When did they tell me that? Because normally what happens is someone will tell me that something was said or whatever, and, like, other people will be around to be like, oh, yeah, that's true. You're remembering something wrong, right? But if I get it, each and every person one-on-one, -on -one, all of a sudden they can't argue because there's no one to help with it. Not, I, I don't think they even realize that they do that. But it doesn't really bother me because it's just like, yeah, I know, how, I, I like, I recognize this shit now. No, you, well, you're not gonna lay on the floor anyway. You'd be on the bed. There we go. So it was just one of those things where it's just like, really couldn't be said that it was true. But it was the fact that like, also the person told them that, but I didn't know anything about it. So now it's like, what else have they been telling people? Because it's just like, uh, like. It, have you just been saying that you were willing to do stuff for me to people in order to make them all like not fuck with me because that seems like that's the mo with this it's been a year for me to figure it out but it seems like that's the mo and if that's the case fuck everybody because no one mentioned this shit to me yeah you know, if y'all are gonna like you know, sit there and, and like i don't know it, i guess it really doesn't matter because it's just like one of those things where it's like eh. but at the same time it's just like Okay, okay. Anyway, that's just a little thing. But, like, we went and got him done. He's taken care of, so he's with me. Now, the tin is really cute. It says, till we meet again on the, at the Rainbow Bridge. It's just like, aw. I miss my dude. I really do. I pet him for a good bit before, like... He, like, he knew he was gonna go. Like, yeah, he was, like, 78 or something in cat years, too, which I had no idea. I was like, he's that fucking old? I can't be mad. I can't be... Yeah, dude, you, you need the rest. Because, like, I literally got you living out your geriatric years, basically suffocating slowly just to keep me happy. I can't do that to you. Anyway, we're going to get into the thing that um I was doing before. I had to go to my history. But, let's see. Hold on, let me pull this up. We're going to start with the first video. Give me a second. Hush. This is about wrath, right? And in wrath, things be crazy, right? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I need to go here.
Okay. So, what we're looking at, this is, like, and I tried recording this before, but there was no sound. Y'all saw that, but now it's, like, fixed. I fixed. You can hear my ass, and, and unfortunately, you have to hear it, because this is the only way we're getting out of this shit. But, this is about a witch who is on a, a, a podcast where men have microphones, right? So, we already know everyone's in danger here. Either they're going to tell the truth, or they're just going to take the narrative. It really doesn't matter. You know, like, it doesn't matter to me. It's like, I'm a, I, like, I don't do shit that the bitches on here do. Um, these, this is the whatever podcast. I think it's hosted by Brian. The occasionally Andrew comes on. The more I studied it, Andrew is very much Christian. Like, Brian gets on my nerves because he lets too much get away. I and mean, he's bringing on that one psycho bitch who claims to be a psychologist, but she's just a whore who went to college for a little bit and then probably dropped out because she, she went to took some psychology courses. She thinks that she knows what the fuck she's talking about. He keeps bringing her on, and she's just fucking annoyed as shit to me. I don't know why you would keep bringing someone on unless you want, like, people to actually call CPS on this bitch like that's the only thing like you want as much exposure as possible so the father can go and get custody of his kids back that's the only thing i think but that's the only but like it's it's an interesting podcast because it definitely sits there and tells ladies you know hey y'all are weird so i get it but this one actually caught my attention when i first saw it. i got august 11th it came out august 11th this clip well i watched the actual entire thing but they got clips of it but it was still really interesting um, this girl, this one right here in the black that says, ban male podcast, even though she is on one, so I don't know why she would want it banned, you know, like, but semantics, I'm being particular. She claims to be a witch, and all them, like, happy, colorful, weird-ass tattoos on me tells me she might also came from Tumblr. You know, whatever. On the whatever podcast, but still. Um, she's very proud of being a witch, or wicked. Because she follows the rule of three. And if you follow the rule of three, as far as I'm concerned, you're wicked. That's a religious, dogmatic thing to do. No one, like, you can come at me and say that I'm wrong about it. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. The rule of three is a Gardenian rule that was already bastardized from the sky, from the whole skyclad shit, right? Um, Gardenian, the Gardenian religion is actually Wiccan, and that's how Wicca actually started. There were already witches existing, but then, like, all of a sudden they decided, let's make witches that believe in a god and a goddess. So now they gotta answer to two motherfuckers instead of one, but they really won't because they're not gonna do anything. Like a pet. I'm going to bring you this bowl and hopefully you'll get me treats. You know what I mean? It's just like, what are those things? You're just like, what are you doing? But that's just me. I, 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 do, I, like, I, I messed with the Wiccan way and it's just like, y'all are too worried about doing too much shit. You know, the problem with Wiccans is that they believe that like, um, as long as you harm me, ye none, do as ye will, which is absolutely fucking possible if you're living and breathing on this planet. One way or another, you're hurting something. When you eat a hamburger, a cow has to die. Or a human that came off a train, depending on what conspiracy theory you believe, right? I'm allegedly, ale allegedly, allegedly, YouTube, do not get mad at me, but still, but still. Um, if you wear clothes, probably came from a sweatshop where children are beaten in China or Ireland. Or even America. Or even Guatemala Bay. Allegedly. 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 Um, there's a lot of things. You step on grass, you're breaking their neck. Allegedly, you two. Allegedly. But that's, that's just... Every, it just breathing air. And you didn't brush your teeth. Makes the trees gag. Allegedly, you two. Allegedly. Just allegedly. Okay? Like, okay? Like, we're just gonna... Just don't take it seriously, alright? So, let's get back to this. The first clip we're looking at, the full thing, because it's just, like, everything she says is just, like, it's, it's, like, this is why people get fucked up. I'm letting y'all know, this is the type of witch people go to in order to fuck with you, okay? This girl right here is the type of witch, and I'm not saying just her. There are multitudes of people, but they do this kind of shit not knowing what the fuck they're doing. But she's the kind of person, the kind of practitioner, who will hex somebody just because you tell them to. Because you told them they did horrible things. This is literally the person that karmic would go to in order to ruin your life. And you'll see. Let's start off with the basics of what her base of believing when person a curse on people. Says people. I believe so then would it be okay to enslave them? 
I don't know. I'm well, not going to sit uh, here uh, and talk on. about slavery because no, slavery doesn't are. have an impact on Yeah, I think we are because I need an entailment here. The entailment... Hold on. That was kind of low. Let's put that back. I like how she says that slavery doesn't affect her when that's literally how this country was built. But go off, sis. Go off. Um, slavery, no, slavery I think we doesn't are. have an impact on Yeah, them. I think we are because I need an entailment here. The entailment here is that I don't consider them people. And as long as they don't consider you a person, why would it be a problem to enslave you then? Because I'm not enslaving people. Well, I'm uh, casting yeah, I thought you're, a spell. You, I'm casting Forgive me. I'm sorry. Me. You said that uh, slavery, when I asked you what that meant, would mm -hmm. be to hold someone against there, their will. There's a lot of things wrong with slavery. I don't think okay, I need to what? sit here and say what's wrong with slavery. What? I mean, it would help. It would help me feel a little better, but go off, sis. Do we really want to get into it? Yeah, I really want to get into okay. it. What? Also, just to be clear, as I said before, Andrew is Christian. So he's asking questions I would ask, because I grew up with the Christian mentality. And like when you grow up in the church, they give you basically the tools and the basic knowledge. Not all of it, because you actually have to go in and study it and learn it, and you have to pray and all that shit. Um, you actually have to be in that you have to know how spirituality works and honestly the church is the best teacher of spirituality now although a lot of people don't like the church those people be like oh you want protection go run to the church ain't it funny when they say that ain't it funny when they say if you need protection you got to run to the church why would the church be protection if so many people believe that the church did things so wrong? Why would the church be so good at spiritually protecting its followers? You ever wonder about that? Because I do. How come there? How come the people who go to the church, um, not saying the ones that are demons and shit, right, or the ones who are in the pulpit preaching the wrong things, because they are out there. They are out there. Um, but why isn't the regular congregation ever affected by spiritual witchcraft? Think about it. Um, you hear people who are in the spiritual community getting spiritually attacked. When Christians say they get spiritually attacked, their lives still are not affected. They know that they're getting attacked, but they have the protection of the blood of the Lamb. Right? So isn't that interesting how a Christian has stronger protection against them than someone who practices the craft? And no one thinks about that. Because, uh, oh, well, that's, the church is evil, and they, and they do this, and they force their religion on us. Fair enough. Fair enough. But look at the alternative. Like, you give up your ability to defend yourself when you're a Christian, but you have hella protection because of it. You know, giving up your will to fight to a, to a deity to do it for you um, has stronger protection than a, per, than a practitioner doing it on their own. I'll, I'll let you know that right now. Unless, like, you're in contracts and shit similar to me and then that's completely different but then again i'm about out of that contract with 25 comes back up i gotta go back other side because it's been 20 some odd years i can't stay in that for much longer and now that i know oh what i know it's kind of like oh okay that, that was the whole sentiment all right two seconds i'm gonna go grab something real quick okay i'm back what's wrong with it from your worldview from slavery yeah Considering the fact that it rips families apart, uh -huh. considering the fact of what they do to yeah, slaves. Yeah, but that's all a side effect of containing someone against their will, right? There's a lot more to it, though. No, it's There's really just that. There's a lot more to it. What else is there? A spiritual, how, holding a spiritual belief and owning slaves are not comparable. Oh, no, they're totally comparable. The logic's the same. So let's start with this. It, is What is a logic. slave itself? Forget ripping, because there's some slaves not going to have their family ripped apart, none of that. What is a slave? Someone who is indentured to another person? Nope. They don't That's have to be indentured? I mean. Yeah, that, like, it, it, slavery has nothing to do with... An indentured servant is someone who works off, like, their, their servitude or their slavery for a certain amount of time, and then they're released from that debt. Most slaves didn't even have... didn't even have a knowledge of what the fuck debt was when they were taken in, but, you know, go off, sis. They... It's just somebody controlling somebody else's will against their will, right? Mm -hmm. That's all slave is, to isn't it? Extent, yeah. What do you mean? What else? What? Is, not, I'll tell I'm you not what. Give me holding, a better definition. I'm not holding that. someone under my will forever. All I'm doing is I'm pushing what's already Wait, coming. Wait, so then it's them. okay to hold people as slaves temporarily? 
No, I do not. Well, and that theory. argument makes no sense that you, well, I only hold their will temporarily. But I'm not, That's the same I'm not as me taking, saying I hold I'm the slave taking temporarily. Away their will. I'm pushing Wait, I'm sorry. Did your ex, them. was it your ex's will to get a broken back and fall down uh, three stories? It was the universe's. See, and and then and then she and, and then there there was a Christian circular fucking reasoning that just came out of her mouth. I'm not holding their will. Was it his will to be thrown off the building? Oh well, it was the universe as well. Well, who encouraged that? Who encouraged that? But it not his. It was the universe. And did you affect the universe? Yeah, I would say so. So then, if you affected the universe, then you contained his will. How's that not slavery? I personally believe if someone punched you in the face and you punched them back, that's not slavery. No, because slavery is not comparable. This is comparable. No, it's not a containment will. If I punch will. you in the face and you punch me back... No, that's a response to will. Right, so that's I responded to, I do to not, my will I'm being not containing taken away. his will. You're containing the will. I took my power back. See, what power did you take back? Because all I know is that you took his power of uh, having a good back. You know, how did you take your power back? I don't know her backstory with her ex. I wasn't really that invested. Uh, it really doesn't matter if you break someone's back because they did something to you but it's not even on the same like I, I don't even know what the fuck he could have done she might have a story about it and it might be a terrible story sure um, but you think that if you got away from an ex and you were done with them you just leave them alone instead of trying to curse them all the fuck time you know, if you're done, you're done. But obviously, it ain't buried, and she ain't buried it yet. She just keeps digging it the fuck out the ground, like uh, fucking Tyler Perry in a dress set. You ain't over it. You keep digging it up on order to keep stomping on a motherfucker. You're at the funeral, still cursing the nigga out. He's been dead three days. You know, like when do you let when do you let it go? When do you let it go? So you're no longer in this state of anger, and and that's one thing I I, I like I've been learning. Like the older I get, the more I realize like it, you know I could be angry. But I've been that way for a long time for random shit, and it doesn't really serve anything except to keep me in that energy. And it's exhausting, and it wears you out. And honestly, after a while, it's just like, how long are you going to stay mad at someone for? Longer than, like, the moment when they did something to you? You know, that like, that's the issue. It's just like, a lot of people, like, live it in their trauma, but they don't want to find a solution so that thing doesn't fuck with them anymore, if that makes sense. Right, by containing somebody else's will. Call it whatever you want. Call I it took slavery. My power back. How is it not slavery? How is witchcraft not slavery? Yeah, how is it not slavery to affect a person's will and get them to do things they ordinarily would not do? I guess you could call it that. Um, it's manipulation of energy. Okay. Look, and it's if, more nuanced than that, though. I don't think if it is. If user put a hex on you, would you consider that? Uh, it wouldn't land. How do you if know? it did Because land. it's big. Okay. Let's pretend it did. It's not going to land. I have people who try to hex me all the time. I'm, I'm just asking you a question. I'm, I'm See, and that right there tells me there's something wrong with her. Why are people hexing you all the time? What did you do to like get people to want to hex you? Sometimes it could be nothing. But sometimes when you keep throwing people under the bus to the universe, the universe starts noticing that. It's just like you have a lot of, like you have a lot of passive aggressiveness and not enough like balls to actually confront a person with an issue. You know, like, oh, you want hexes to keep getting thrown around? Let me be the angry girlfriend and keep, like, bringing people to you so you can keep doing hexes. Because event because what is it? Eventually, what do they say? Like, what you said now comes back threefold? What makes you think that you, you were justified in hexing someone? You still won't get that shit. If you don't have enough grace to just let that shit go without hexing somebody, what makes you think that, like, the universe isn't going to allow other people to do that to you when you slighted them? You might not agree. But whatever. Also, with the containment of will, I've said this before, but when you put a hex or something on somebody, those, they become your responsibility. You were chained like the bird is chained to the calf. You can only fly so far. They're perfectly on the ground doing whatever. You gotta be over them, and then you gotta sit there and keep shitting on them. Sure, there's length where you can go, but eventually you gotta fly over and shit on them again. You'll keep fucking doing it. You'll keep fucking doing it. You won't even realize why you'll do it sometimes, especially if you're still engaged in, like, craziness, or you haven't helped yourself none. You know? People don't seem to realize when you hack someone, like, that's what the whole cursing embodiment is about. There are people I know who go out of their way to hex their exes and they are bitter and they are upset and they are angry and they have all of this inside of them and they don't seem to realize you're feeling the effects of what you tried or did do to somebody through magic. 
you're gonna stay that way till you release that soul from your magic. Like most people don't even realize, like after you get like revenge, you're supposed to be like right, like release all magic on a bay leaf and burn that shit so it like cuts that shit off. You can't keep a hex on someone forever. Eventually, that's gonna keep you all siphoning off of each other. You're gonna keep feeling whatever you wanted them to feel or whatnot, and you won't release yourself. And she don't, she's young. Like her Saturn return is gonna be a bitch. I'm trying to get clarity because okay. I don't. I, I'm just, yeah, 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 clarity. Just like so what's, understand. What's your question? Just goddamn. Like where you feel it'd be okay to put a hex on somebody else, and it's totally okay. But if somebody were to put that one on you, how would you feel about it? That's their decision. I, I, it happens to me so often that it really doesn't bother me. I have my protection set up, and I believe if I genuinely also let's be clear, we don't know if she's actually getting hexed. Or if she's done so much shit that all of her shit keeps coming back to her. And she's just like, oh, well, I have protections of the protect me. People hex me all the time. And it's just like, well, how do I, how am I supposed to know that the universe just put a barrier around you so you just keep hitting your fucking self? I've seen so many people online talking about how they've been hexed. And I'll just look at their shit and I'll smell it. Just from looking at the screen and just be like, that's your energy. All that ammonia ain't gonna help you. What? The fuck was that? Hmm. Oh, that's... Okay, that's the neighbor. That's the neighbor. I finally, like, aired out the neighbors, and now we're friends. So, that's how... That's the that black movie magic. We all get along now. Jesus, fuck. But, yeah. Anyway. Oh. Also, my baby's on there, but I won't show him. I'll put the picture up if I want to. Not the same having something be like... Ugh! It's not the same. Sorry. But yeah, it's just one of those things where it's just like, like a, a, a practitioner could say that there are people hexing them, right? But if you're doing a lot of hexing, you're not going to be able to know the difference. It's too much. It's too much energy. If you're literally going out of your way doing other spells for people, of course you're going to get like shit back. You don't know if those people are telling you the truth or not. You know, I've had clients, like there's this one particular client, right? Sneaky fuck. She um came up asking me if I could like do a like seance or like connect with her dead relative or whatever, which I was kind of uncomfortable with. And it was just like, I mean, I could try it. I don't know if he'll talk to me though, because he really don't know me. Because it's just like it's not one of those things where like I could I just draw a spirit. It's just like they just come around when they fucking feel like it. Like I don't tell them what to do. And so, a lot of times I don't try to talk to spirits. Usually they end up coming to me, and then like I check him, and then I, but I don't try to pull. They I don't try to pull and I don't try to pull entities to me at all. I don't I don't ask for shit. I don't know. Cause you, if you can let one in, something of the same like an angel and a demon are the same fucking thing. Same vibration, same energy. How am I supposed to know that they ain't gonna switch up? Cause they can do it at any time. Oh, you call them the angels. Demons are angels too. They just fell. Why, why, like, why are you calling them in anyway? You know what's weird? I never hear anyone say, uh, Holy Spirit, God, Lord Jesus Christ when they're reading cards. They always say Spirit, Most High, and all that shit. It's just like... Did he tell you to call them that? Or did you just do it because everyone else was doing it? You know, it's just questions. But then again, if you were going to do that, I wouldn't assume that, like, they you would be able to read the cards anyway, because that is quite sacrilegious, so I could see why other people do that and use a different name, even though it is kind of insulting, but at the same time, it's just like... Mm, I mean, like, there's so many caveats of this shit that you have to migrate through, honestly. But the one thing I know is, is that if you're casting a whole bunch of hexes and shit, yeah, shit's gonna come your fucking way, because you open the goddamn door. You know, if a hex can go out, why can't it come back in? Oh, I got, I got protection, right? It ain't gonna protect you from everything. And if it is protecting you, that's all in layway. Like, you you would only do so much to protect yourself after a while. But if you're doing shit and causing shit for other people, well, then you're, I, like, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck to you. Good luck on your Saturn's return. I think she's 23 or 26. I can't remember. 
genuinely did something to harm someone, to cause them out. I think you need to understand the amount of anger, the amount of pain that a victim has to go to, to the point where they want to go take spiritual repercussions. I've been had, human being. I have had been assaulted. I've yeah. been blamed so by you, anger. So you, so I know. you understand the I know. anger. And, yeah. I don't know. I'd be pretty angry if my ex just went and broke my back. I don't know the story, but I feel as though, like, breaking someone's back is a lifetime thing. And worse, if they were as terrible as she says he is, now he's going to have a reason to be even worse, because he's going to be in constant pain. Like, once you start having back pain, that should just keep getting worse, and it deteriorates, and it deteriorates. You know what happens? It makes a person much more mean. When people are in pain, they're not nice. They are mean. They have shorter tempers. They can go off on people. So, yeah, she might have got a revenge, but the side effect of that is, like, the next person he gets with, um, what if he does worse to them? Or even more mental or psychological shit. You know, physical is one thing, but when you're going into all the other aspects of, like, a person's body, the mind, the spirit, um, the emotions... I don't know, man. Plus, he probably got a pretty decent fucking check from that shit, too. I'm not gonna lie. He probably got monetary compensation for that shit, and she probably don't even fucking know. He probably ended up with someone who's gonna take care of him, too. Because I feel as though, just personally myself, that was an excessive call. If her to say it was the will of the universe is ridiculous, you know, everybody's supposed to be considered the fucking universe, but she wants to act like she didn't participate in the universe when that happened, even though she was the one who sent the signal. Of course. It, it's a way for me that I was able to take my power back after it was taken away from me. Okay. Yeah. So, I have, I have a question on this because you're trying to get uh, justice for mm -hmm. victims. Do you think in the justice system, uh, people are falsely accused? That is a factor, but it mm -hmm. is considerably lower than I think. I, I don't think it's a big factor. It's a very big factor. There's actually a ton of people. A shit ton of people thousands of not hundreds of thousands of people in prisons right now over false allegations. Doesn't mean that not everybody deserves to be there, but it does mean that there are a lot of people who shouldn't have been there and they are. Um, look at the people um, from, from Guantanamo Bay. January 6th. Brittany Griner. That, you know, getting, getting put in jail for doing ignorant shit. For nothing. There are people... Um, who get, like, harassed by the government in itself because of allegations. There are men who can't even leave their house because a woman made an allegation about a child in their name. And people, regardless of whether it was proven true or not, will still hear that, still remember that, and it will haunt them the rest of their fucking life. False allegations ruin people's lives all the fucking time. And unfortunately, we as a society do not make people responsible or be held accountable for what the fuck they do and say against people. Um, what was his name? Tabuscus? He got accused by a bunch of chicks who never even went to the fucking police. They just went online and just claimed a whole bunch of shit and everyone believed them and ran them off the fucking internet. He was like a let's player, I believe. And he would do commentary as well. Um, this was years ago. But there's actually a lot of people who get fuck accusations against them. And because online your reputation is so important, people just run and believe it because it's easier than actually like asking the horse of mouth. Like what the story I was talking about earlier. You know, it's a dangerous thing to do. You don't think it's a big factor? No, I would say majority of victims are not false reporting. <laughs> I would say okay, false sure. accusations. I'll even grant that the majority of victims are not making false accusations. There's, there's an overwhelming amount of women sure. who don't even report what's right. happening to Correct. them. Okay, so the will you concede? And even more men who would just take abuse because it, it's a lot more dangerous for them to report it to the police because more than likely the police will arrest them because the woman cried. He could have cuts, bruises, all sorts of shit, and the cops would be like, oh, you got beat up by a girl. You're under arrest. You, you hurt her feelings, dude. You hurt her feelings. It, it, you gotta go. That women do make false accusations? Yes, it does happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually, in this specific crime you're talking about, it's actually, there. there's higher incidence of false accusations of this sort of crime, or people have sort of misunderstandings of what is and what isn't. But um, So, you said you only do this to abusers. How would you 
come to the determination that someone's actually guilty. That's a really great question. Or you just, they just say, he abused me, and you just believe it in all instances? I have my spell set up, so anything that you put out returns back to you times three. So if I hex someone and they didn't do anything wrong, it's not going to impact them. It's not going to hit them. Wait, I don't so understand how that, there, there's like a, that's how I have there's my like spell an asterisk, set up. there's an asterisk yes, so, on your hexes? Yes, so you write a petition. A petition is a big part of it. You write petition specifically There's what you want to things. happen. And uh, in my personal petition, how I personally practice, I put in the petition that if the person is not doing anything, anything that they're putting out, they're going to get back times three. I like how she thinks that the universe has eyeballs and can read that shit. You know? I'm glad she thinks that the universe operates under like that's not how it works like, let me tell you something if you throw a brick at someone's head it's not gonna magically just because they didn't do any because they didn't throw a brick at your head okay let's get if you throw a brick at someone's head and it and, 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 and like it contacts it there's nothing the universe can do to stop that you're still throwing a brick at someone's head you, adding the clause saying oh well if they didn't do anything wrong nothing will happen to them that doesn't work and like yeah, this person's petitioning you, but you're the one who's throwing this shit out there. And but she's wondering why she's getting all... She's claiming that, like, people are hexing her. And she's just like, I don't think people are hexing you. I think the universe is just giving you back what the fuck you put out that you're not taking accountability for. So if they're not Sorry. doing anything... No, no, go ahead. You go ahead. So if I asked you, for example, to put a hex on somebody and I tell you that they abused me but they didn't, like, this, the hex wouldn't work? No. Not if you went to me. If you went to a different practitioner, maybe, if they did it differently. But that's personally how I do mine. Mind you, she doesn't check. She just goes with it. That's what makes her dangerous. So, let's go to the other one. Oh, there it is. There it is. <clears throat> if it doesn't work, can you get a refund? Um, no way there will. I'm pushing Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, this is the same one. That's why. I have people who try to hex me all the time. Wait, I don't so understand how that they're like this. The hex wouldn't work out of their way to pay for a service done. There probably is a reason there. I have an interesting question because you like to say a lot of things that are very nuanced. Uh, have you ever stopped to think that a lot of abusers are also victims? And yeah. that because you know they've so where's the cycle end like if you're saying i'm i like her coming after you because you abused me mm -hmm. but he abused you because of someone who abused like he's also a victim mm -hmm. like, i don't know the situation right. but like in a lot of situations people hurt because they're hurt yeah so why where's right. the justification of saying now i'm just gonna push more hurt here's, onto you here's the so thing. you are now acting out of hurt like where's the kindness where's the love where's the stop of it where does it end? Where does it end? Where does it end? Where does it end? more focused on getting justice, whenever way that see fit. And, and then there would be no end. So therefore... The end. There's never going to be an end to violence. There's never going to be an end to abuse. Because that's just not how the world works. The, well, I really, I really never... hate that the world works like that, but it's never going to be like that. The world. She hates it, but she's participating, so she's part of... Okay. Isn't it funny when you ask a particular question and then it makes sense? That the person who's answering the question um, is just making it up as they go. You know? Because this is just like, this isn't even like some, like, this is something you should think about. You know, there have been times when I have been like told I need to do something to somebody and I didn't and I ended up regretting it. And there are other times when like I figure I could have done something to somebody, but I don't want back what the fuck I gave on them, you understand? There are instances where it's absolutely justified and you have to do something, but there are other times when, like, if you go in and, like, like uh, you gotta check. Like, you gotta, you have to check. You have to ask questions. You need to test these motherfuck this motherfucking shit like you test your fucking partners and shit, right? It's just, like, I just... It's the youth that's wasted on the young was never going to be equal. It is never going to be Wait, fair. Wait, so to be clear, with these hexes, and there's, let's assume this person is being falsely accused and they're innocent, so you cast the hex, but so the hex doesn't work if they're innocent? Mm -hmm. Based on how I have mine set up. I'm a little confused I have by that. I mean... Well... Yeah, just think about it, right? 
Oh, well, if they're innocent, it doesn't work. So where does all that energy go? Where does all that energy that she put into a hex go? There, like, for any of you who have been here for a while, I'll tell the story. It's been a while since I've told it. I think I'll, like, post it up on the community board so you can see it if I find it. But it's one of these things where it's like, um... There is this particular practitioner who was angry at this old dude who took a slingshot and killed these red squirrels. I guess she moved down to Florida. I don't know if the squirrels were endangered or some shit, but she was just mad that he was killing squirrels, which is like, I don't blame him. West Virginia, we 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 murder that shit and eat it all the time. I don't. Everyone else does. Just a disclaimer, allegedly, allegedly. You know, that shit. But, um... This chick decided that this dude was evil because, like, he was killing the squirrels. And she was going to do an elaborate hex on this guy. Me and a few other people who were in this Facebook group, which I like to call the coven of funsies, um, were like, I don't know if that's a good idea, man. Have you tried talking to him? Try asking. I even picked up one of those squirrels and they were horribly murdered. He just leaves them around. He must be stuck. Okay. She showed this elaborate fucking hex of jars and towers and towers worth of candles and shit. It was elaborate with glitter and, 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 and like weird colorful purple shit and candles and blackness and ribbons everywhere. All like a, a, It had to be at least this high, if not my fucking high. At least five something. And I was just steady like, girl, you might want to make sure... This is the right thing to do. This is the right thing. I'm doing the right thing. I think. Okay. She comes back like a month later being like she hadn't seen nothing from the dude. I later learned after all this that like the dude actually passed away. But there were uh, three things that came with the spell that she sent out, right? Um, that he'd become a, a very sick and hurt. Um, that past shit. I think would come up to him or something like that or something horrible would happen to him where like he like he couldn't leave the house he would have like issues or whatever and um he wouldn't have the energy to get himself out of it well a little bit later after she updated not seeing the dude she mentioned that she needed like prayers or some shit or magical energy or good vibes or some shit because she was dealing with medical issues her abusive ex happened to find her and moved himself into her place and she couldn't escape it. And she just didn't have the ability or the energy of getting herself out of it. Which is surprisingly the three things that she wished upon this old man. And the only thing I can think of, if he hadn't fucking died, that shit would have fucked with him. He would have gotten that, but he ended up dying. Where does the energy go? Where does the energy go? When it can't touch what it's supposed to, it goes back to where it belongs. Who it belonged to. You know, I'll make a full ass circle. She's gonna have a bad Saturn turn. You don't have any really knowledge of witchcraft. I have so zero knowledge. I do. I, I got you, I got you, Brian, even though you get on my fucking nerves. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Fine print, I guess. I'm like, I'm not trying to figure out. Yeah. So basically, it's like you write a fine print, if that makes sense. You write a contract. It's kind of the same thing as like okay, a Ursula. clause for marriage. We won't a, a prenup, right? You don't get 50 percent unless someone cheats. So it's kind of the same. It's like a prenup, I guess. I write prenups for my spells, if that makes sense. I can put it in okay. that terminology, and I think that'll make more sense to everyone yep. on the panel. We have Dane's wife. J.C. Dugard, 11-year-old, kidnapped Essie for the 18 years, has two children during captivity, rescued when children 14 and 11 couldn't abort because of captivity. Can she unlive those children, or why not? It's no, a good question. I also would like to say that I think my mind has changed a bit since hearing uh, your argument. Um, okay. Just and also the female arguments brain, like that, because sense. I never thought about it like <laughs> that. So. Nick, do you mean this camera? Yeah. On my side? Um, yeah, yeah no, focus. that would be wrong. <laughs> okay, I'll, all right. Uh, okay, then we have Giovanni C. Which girl says her motivation is justice, but also states her system is set up to repay wrongs done to her three times as much? Is that justice? No. That's an interesting question. Um, it follows... The it, it's not, because you like you never stick a dollar in a vending machine and get three dollars and quarters back. The law of three, which, some, which uh, people practice and people don't. Isn't there something in the Bible... Uh, 
sevenfold like vengeance system was pulled off the movie The Craft. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot. Um, there is a lot. There actually is like a lot of witchcraft in the Bible. There actually are a lot of witchcraft. I'm just that thinking of sevenfold like vengeance. Well that's in the Bible. I'm I think it has to do with Cain. I don't. Anyways, um, that's kind of besides the point. But is it justice though? Really quick, I had to get three times. So like eye for an eye, but three eyes, I guess, instead of for. Yeah, I just have that set. I just work mm -hmm. with the number three. I just feel very called to it, so that's what I do. Because it's the only number you can think of. And then something about, I saw on the TikTok, start a roster. Something yeah. about hexing a roster. But wait. Oh, I don't the, hex rosters. The times three thing. Mm -hmm. So if somebody kills a member of your family, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. then what would be the times three back? If someone killed a member of my family, I'm taking out their entire family. But I ride for the people and I love. And that's justice? For me. I so ride. Know the rest I are innocent. Ro yeah, I the family's innocent. I ride for the people I love. Wait. So hold on. Let me. <laughs> See, that kind of talk is why people started burning witches and, and like putting rocks uh, and boulders on their chest to begin with. That shit. That mentality right there. That right there, which makes sense if it's actually something worth fighting for. But what if your family member was like trying to like SA someone or unalive somebody? And that's why they got taken out. Should they? Should the entire family still be taken out? Let me know. Let me know. Like, you really gonna protect your family just because you'll ride and die for the people you love? What if they're terrible people? No one ever thinks of this shit. You have to die for wait, wait, wait. revenge. Wait. So okay. A individual member of a family, mm -hmm. without any other of the family members being involved, lone actor, kills a member of your family. The other families living on the opposite side, let's say they're in New York and this yeah. happened in California, you're going to go kill the... I guess, I, for, I guess for eye for an eye, I would just kill whoever killed my family member. Well, that, now you're walking back your position. But I don't know what I would do in that situation. You said you'd, kill, be highly you'd, you'd kill the whole family. I might. I just might. Even if that family involved, like, innocent children? No, I would never kill a kid. Oh, not the kids. No, 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 not kids. Just not unless it's in the room. What, what about how, the grandma? What if it's a kid? Who how do you get to choose that? Like, and, 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 it's, like, how would you choose that? You can't. You don't get to decide who gets taken out when you throw a death spell. Which, mind you, you throw a death spell out that's like five, ten years off of your life per person. Just so you know. Just so you know. Especially if it lands, as she likes to say. Um, but that, but that's the penalty cost. You lose at least five to ten years off your life. But, I, but you know, th that's my question. This is like, how do you? How would you know that it's? Uh, how would you make sure that it doesn't land on a child? They're still um, family, are they not? They, like the universe doesn't give a fuck. Why would the universe define the age physically if we're all spiritual creatures just having a human experience? You know, like, that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, I would, why would the universe differentiate between child and an adult just because you got feelings about it? Maybe the universe would take out that child just so you learn to stop doing that shit. It's like, people don't seem to realize that, like, you don't get to, like, when it comes to, like, you don't get to control who gets taken out. No one does. Even the industry can't guarantee that shit. No one, like, if you cast something on somebody, it can hit anybody. It doesn't even have to be them. If you're directing it at them, all it has to do is hit somebody who has blood closest to them, who is the closest example to them, who actually shares their DNA. Which is one reason why DNA is faulty. It's really hard to differentiate between family members. Honestly, you can recognize the blood of the family, um, but when it comes to really, really differentiating um, who's who, it's kind of hard because most people who are family all smell exactly the same. And if you don't know how to pick off this energy of sense, that's on you, not me. Told you, yeah, how do you I've never that. Had to you can't control for that. Yeah, how do it's you a times that? three. Yep. Would you kill, so, the kid? So Would you kill a kid if it was a kid who killed your family member? No, because it's a child. Why? Wait, hang on. I just want to make sure I got. I would never hex a child either. I do want to make sure. I would never hex. A you want to hex a seventeen-year-old that's a, a day away from eighteen? If they took out your mom, sa like your family, not like you, you would avoid them, even though they're like twenty-four hours away from being an adult. You wouldn't know. Hmm. Anyone under age eighteen? That I got this correct. Mm -hmm. That um, 
following this law of three, mm -hmm. okay, the, the three times, you know, that's what you get, mm -hmm. you do believe that this actually works. Mm -hmm. I do believe my hexes land, yes, yeah, when they okay. are meant to land. It, and you believe that this actually has an effect in the world. Yes. So you believe that you are actually doing this. Yes. So then why would it not be justified if some member, let's say, of my crazy family somewhere, right, mm -hmm. hypothetically, mm -hmm. took out a member of yours, mm -hmm. for me to not note that you would do a spell that could then condemn me based on the belief that wouldn't I be then justified to come in and take you out before you could do a hex? Mm -hmm. Yeah, No, but that's not my question. I know, what, I know what a person could try. I'm asking about the justification. When the justification of... Oh shit! You took out this witch's husband, Paul. You know what I mean? Poor Dark Paul. Of mine. She's gonna take out the whole family. Wouldn't they then be justified in doing something to you, just based on your fact and belief that this is? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Sure. And you think that that's coherent and not madness? I think that if I genuinely hurt someone and they decided to cast on me, that that is justified. Not cast on you. They did something completely different. They just came and took you out because they. They believe, like you did, that your spell could have such an effect that it destroyed their whole family. Would or they that be you're justified? Murder the whole family, or whatever the reason. Yeah, wouldn't they be justified in that? I'm sure, I guess. <laughs> you, and you think that's justice? See, and she didn't think that far. She didn't think that far on none of this, and it shows. She never thought, not once, that like just because you cast magic doesn't mean that everyone's going to cast magic back, because that's not how it works. You know, magic is a coward's way of retaliation. Always has been. No matter what anybody says, magic is always the coward's way. It's for people who are not able to deal with conflict. It's the most passive aggressive way of getting your point across. And most of the time, you're only getting your point across to your fucking self. That's why most spells aren't successful. Like, me as a practitioner, I've only had maybe four or five that's come out successful. Not even casting on people, just in general, right? And because it's a practice. When you actually go to do the real thing, that's when you put your metal to it. But if you're just putting all your metal into everything, you got to think. Like, the universe doesn't have to have someone send magic back to you. It just has to send something um, that's similar or equal to what you've done. Two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Uh, me a pig in the blanket with Chase. I made them. They're good. So anyway, um, it's very interesting how she always... I just want to point out, she brings up the rule of three... But she doesn't mention the witch's read or the witch's creed, depending on who you talk to. Where at the very end is, and harm ye none, do as ye will. And that's old as fuck. Um, but that's the witch's read. Really, that's the, like there's more to it than that. But the, it's the last line, and harm ye none, do as ye will. And it also works very well with the Gardenian slash Slyclad. Um, Rule of three, it works very perfectly because most practitioners nowadays like to work on peace and shit. But then we got this one right here who doesn't seem to understand. She's making herself a target for whatever the universe wants to throw. Because let's be clear, just because you're willing to go the coward's way and do magic on a person instead of going up and fucking with them, uh, either because you're already going to jail or you won't make it out or you're just going to end up being a loser and not getting, uh, or even if you're successful. Whatever the scenario. Millions of scenarios, right? Just because you're not willing to go through that does not mean someone else isn't crazy enough to do it. It is 2024, and people are jumping out of cars in uh, Canada trying to stab people just walking down the road. Canada's not even a safe place anymore. But, you know, whatever. I think what I do is justice. Oh. Uh, we do have your website. Thanks. We wanted to pull it up, Nick. Could you get the website going? So, it says, custom-made intense hex hexes, excuse me, do we, yeah, okay. Yeah, I offer a couple of inserts. This is and this right here bothers me. Now, I don't know if it's a swimsuit or what. What is that photo necessary? You know, we don't leave anything in imagination, it gets very boring. Perfect for those looking to get justice or looking to remove someone out of their life. Uh, scroll down, Nick. Freeze your scroll spell. Down. Scroll. No, scroll. Keep going. That's my website. You, huh? What's up? What? 
Is it? Do you mean the mouse wheel? Do you do this whole time? I know, but yeah. you got to use the just use the little. Uh, yeah, click and I thing. just got my best friend hired as well too. So. Can, do you work for someone else or no? I work for yeah, right, myself. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Spell work. I find everyone online. Okay, so uh, custom made, mm -hmm. I, and I read these from the website. Custom made intense hexes. This is perfect for those looking to get justice or looking to remove someone out of their life, areas I can hex, relationships, money, sex, health, ba baneful protection, remove someone mm -hmm. from your life, Ge general negativity, make them go broke, hex, uh, or click on the book today for hexes and baneful work. All right, nothing about help me through hard time spells. Bring me calm. Release from grief. Acceleration, so it's shit. Slowing things down so you can catch up a little bit. All sorts of things. Um, answers. It's just shit that affects very shallow aspects of things, you know? Let's point that out. Uh, scroll down. Two and a fucking dog. Okay. Y'all remember when I said that on Etsy? You buy a curse for like a thousand bucks? Same shit. People are just selling hexes for two hundred dollars. <laughs> it's just like, why the fuck are you taking on someone's karma? Literally having them sign their Darba over to you so you can get the backlash for that shit. Because I'm telling you, when she's in her 30s, it's going to suck. She's only 20-something. It's going to suck. I, I promise you. It's going to suck. Okay. Uh, so, make them go broke. Or I don't know if this is in a different one. No, oh, scroll down. Scroll down. And then uh, that is scroll just, up. Oh, uh, yeah. There it is. So there it is. Wait, wait. Um, scroll down. Want. Yeah, when just you scroll down. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. Uh, what are you trying to achieve? So make them go broke, hex their love life, protect me and harm them when they get near me, remove them from my life, plus cause pain, help me win a court case, general negativity. Um, All I heard was cast a hex on this person because they hurt my feelings. This is what I want you to do. Not help me move on. I don't meet somebody who matches me. Not even match energy, just match personality-wise, compatibility and that shit. Um, nothing about helping to move forward and just forgetting the past. Not Nothing close to, like, forgetting Sarah Marshall or um, Eternal uh, Sunshine of the Spotless Mind kind of shit. Um, all of that hexing would literally link you back to the person. Like, just imagine you cast the hex on someone so they go broke. And they do. Cool. Five years later, all of a sudden, you're broke, and you see them again, and they are perfectly fine. They're, in fact, they have more money than they ever did when they were with you and when you knew them. They had setbacks and whatnot, but eventually what happens is that uh, that shit gets reversed. That shit goes back to the way it is. Like, you can only do magic so much on a person anyway because of the tolerance, but it's like... It's kind of against the will. You know, making someone go broke when they absolutely have the capacity of getting money, that's against will. That's against their will. And that shit don't last forever. I don't know what people think when, they, when they're when they cursing people and think that that shit should last for like hundreds of years and you ain't gonna get nothing from it. All you're gonna do is keep getting people to cause you to keep hexing and hexing and hexing and hexing and hexing. <clears throat> and then your life ends up miserable. No one ever talks about that. Really quick on the help me win a court case one. Mm -hmm. What if they're not in the right with the court case, but everybody, you know, every everybody thinks that they're in the right, you know? Um, yeah, that's not really. I'm just offering a service. So when right, someone well, books for me, no responsibility. Booking, and they tell me, basically, I'm just gonna help it so that they pre can present themselves better in court, so mm -hmm. they have a higher likelihood, a chance of achieving their. Can, can I ask you a question? So yeah, which let's course? let's say. Would you work for a guy? Like, if a guy wanted the hex? Or? Yeah, yeah, I have. Actually, okay. that's how I met my partner. Okay. Yeah. So, if a guy came to you and said, Hi, I've been falsely accused of SA. Mm -hmm. And the smile's gone. Hex, 
on her to like get her to stop her accusations? Yeah. Can you uh, help me in the criminal case that's ongoing, the Absolutely. civil case? That's you would do that. But I thought most, I thought you would be, tend to not agree, agree that uh, false accusations occur when it comes to this crime. Yeah, but what my client is coming to me and telling me is what I believe. I'm being paid to listen to my client and deliver what my client is asking. Oh, so you're, you're... And it's like, you never tell them no? I've had clients before that try to use me and my tarot cards to find out where somebody is. This one dude did, right? And the first time I did a reading for him, the cards told me she's in rehab, but he's the reason for it. And I sent him that reading, he's just like, oh, yeah, I guess you caught me. Well, I just want to know how she feels about me and what's going on. I know, like, that I dealt with her family. Did another reading for him. Turns out, the cards told me the family doesn't want him knowing, and neither does she. She does not want to go back to that life. She's literally blocked him, ghosted him, avoided him, trying to get her life back together because this dude led her to a terrible place. <clears throat> dude paid me near $100 to do another reading and try to get her address. I immediately refunded that money back. He emailed me. Last time, just like, oh, so my money's not good enough for you now? And I was just like, nope. And I... Mm -mm. You know, sometimes, just because a client says something or wants something doesn't mean that, like, you should be giving it to them. So, I mean, and if you're really good at your shit, a lot of times... Your shit will... Actually, yeah, I was talking about one bitch earlier i didn't even finish that story about that one chick who came to me about family or whatever it, it did not i'll tell you about that one after this but like yeah sometimes you just gotta love uh, if you're really good at your shit your shit's going to tell you hey you shouldn't be helping this person you don't need to help this person i've had several people i had one chick try, kept trying to ask me where she should go and i told her vegas i don't know what the fuck happened to her um there is that one chick i was telling you about i wanted to like have me connect and talk about talk to spirits or whatever it started off, like, so normal, but I was getting easy, and at some point, she told me that, like, she went to, like, what, three psychics, I think, and, like, they all told her she was cursed, and I was just sitting there, just thinking to myself, like, so why are you coming to a witch about it? I didn't fucking do it. Like, why, what the fuck are you telling me for? And why would you listen to the psychics anyway? They'll just believe whatever the fuck spirit inhabits them. They're, they're literally just putty in a spirit, like, they can't control the whatever. Like, I don't, I don't believe in them psychic shits anyway, because you're... Like, I'm glad you have the aptitude, but not the discipline a lot of times. The aptitude, but not the discipline. Unless it gets uncomfortable. But, like, she brought that up, and I was just like... Okay? So I laid out some cards, took pictures of them, and showed it to her. She's like, I can't read the cards. And that right there just, like, irked me a little bit. Because it's just like... I know there are a lot of people... Who read, who listen to tarot and don't know anything about it, but I figure if you listen, if you're going to psychics, you should know something. You should at least recognize the cards. If you watch enough tarot, you should be able to realize what card, like, you don't even need to know what the card's meaning is. You can just look at the fucking pictures. Look at the pictures and how do they make you feel? What do you get from them? It's interpretation. It's like reading a book. Except people see different things in it, so it's like whatever. And then just proceeded to start sending me pictures of her ex and the bitch that he was with. Which, I'll tell you right now, do not ever send me picture, like, unless it's, like, a happy story or whatever. Like, I, yeah, I want to hear your happy baby. But do not go and send me pictures of people who you do not deal with. Because in my mind, that's, you, like, you telling me, oh, I want you to f put a death hex on this person. That's why I'm sending you their picture. Like, immediate tag log. Like, like, shit, I had a person, like, print a picture of me off and, like, put crystals all over it so they could suck shit out my back. And then the crystals ended up cracking. And she was all mad about it. She was just like, I need you all to get them. I need you all to get them. And, but but nobody did. They weren't allowed to even do anything because there was nothing to do. Like, it was all on that bitch's fault at that point. So I'm just looking at these photos and I'm just like, you know what? Why are, why, why, why are you sending me this? Why? Why? Why are you letting me see these pictures? Well, da 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 da, and they're together, and I'm pregnant with his kid. It's, oh, so you, you see, so you're a bitter baby mama. That's what I thought at the time. I didn't say it to her, but it's just like, oh, so this is his new bitch, and you're the one he doesn't want. So she kept like trying to like tell me about this couple, and finally I'm just like, you know what? He's the one who's bringing the curse to you. You gotta stay completely away from him in order to protect you and your child. And I said that hoping she would understand. You gotta leave him alone. 
And instead, she kept asking me, how do I get the hex off of him? I want to protect him and all this shit. And I told her, you know, like, well, it's not about protecting him. It's about protecting you and your child because he's the problem. Well, there's got to be a way to get this off of him. I want him to be safe. He's safe. You're the one that's not safe, bitch. Like, you know, I hear what I'm saying. Okay, but, like, how do I get it removed off of him? And then I just blocked her because it's just like, you aren't here for your brother. You aren't here for nothing. You're just trying to find a way to get a hold of somebody who don't fucking want you. Like, if you're good at your shit, and you know how to look for shit, you're going to realize when people are trying to play in your fucking face. If, you, if, if, you're, if you're in good communication with your fucking intuition and shit, it's going to tell you, whether you realize it or not, that someone's fucked up. If, you're, if you pay attention to a person who's telling you a story long enough, they're going to let out what they really want to tell you about a situation and what they really fucking want from you. Because in no way, shape, or form was she interested in actually talking to her brother. She was more interested in whether or not I could do something to get rid of the girl that hit her baby daddy got with, is what it is. There's, like, no one... And, and, like, she kept trying to tell me, like, she didn't fuck with him, and I didn't believe that one minute. It's just like, well, you don't fuck with him. Why are you telling me about him? Why would you tell me about someone you don't deal with? That doesn't make any sense. Um, good luck to her, but it, it, truth be told, like, you don't need to be with someone who don't want to be with you. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there who think kids keep people. Man and woman think that. Ugh. But yeah, it's one of those things where it's just like, if you aren't checking, you ain't looking, you ain't paying attention to what you're giving somebody or reading somebody, or you aren't listening to what they're fucking telling you. You know, because people will give hints all the time, but if you don't have the mindset to think that someone could be immediately lying to you when they're coming up with a fucking story, and you don't check with your cards and writing their shit, oh, they're leaving dot, 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 let me go and see what they're going to fucking say, oh, <clears throat> Of course, they're gonna go to say that like they need someone to help with their erection because I've had that shit before too, and that was just fucking gross. That was just a weird ass person with demands, and it's just like, dude, you need to go shrink. But that's just me. But yeah, if you, if you aren't checking your clients at the fucking door, why the fuck are you doing this service? And what makes you think that you won't get fucked up for this because you aren't like paying attention to what you're doing? Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Like a witch hitman? I guess you could call me that. So you don't even care what your target is, you don't have, don't do any research, you don't try to determine if it's true. You're just, just gonna the they come and they give you the money yeah, and you're gonna hex their ass and that's the end. I think you were away when we talked about it. Um basically I have a clause set up in my spells mm -hmm. that any negativity you put out will be returned towards you. So I have it set up so that if that person that I am targeting you're tricking the universe. is easy, right is innocent, it's, it's just like he's absolutely right in saying that. You're tricking the universe and she absolutely is trying to do that because it's just like wouldn't the universe already know if this person deserves what the fuck you're sending to them i think mean, isn't the universe already there witnessing all of this shit and then you're just sending something their way and it's just like why didn't you ask I'm literally right why didn't you just ask me i'm right here But this all operates off perception. You could perceive that you've had great wrongs done to you. you I don't know what's wrong with the screen. Mm -hmm. Who is the I don't know why it looks like this. It's actually pissing me off. Okay, That's but, better. But this all operates off perception. You could perceive that you've had great wrongs done to you even if you actually have not. Mm -hmm. Who is the juror here? Who you, makes the, the determination? The universe. And how does it? How does the universe what is, know? Yeah, what is, I what, by what metric does the universe? Oh, capture okay, stop. But that's okay. I put the energy out there, and the universe decides to do what they want to do with it. I never specifically asked for my ex to be put off a building. I said I want justice, and I want him. I need something to be done so he stops hurting women. Mm -hmm. And he fell off a building. I never asked for him to fall off a building. That was what happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good way of stopping someone, so technically, yeah, you did. Just because you didn't use the particular words does not mean shit. People use the right words for shit all the time. Yeah, all of a sudden, yeah. 
Okay. Cause and effect. Uh, well, we can come back to some of that stuff a little later. You said, yeah. yes, I'm currently dating a famous rapper. We're polyamorous. Um, yeah. You can talk about our connection. I've, uh, so, famous rapper? Are you at liberty to... Um, I don't think me and him are at a place where we want to, like, publicize mm-hmm. stuff. But, okay. yeah. How big is his following? Also, she said that she met her mate, her man, because he came to her for a hex. And it's just like, why would you get with her knowing that she does this kind of shit and what she did to the last person she was with? Whether it's true or not, you know, it's one thing. But it's just like, why would you risk that? Why would you risk somebody who, uh, even on the greatest slight, would be like, well, it wasn't me, it was the universe's will. I just asked them to do something about it. Like, imagine the dude's bothering you, so you go up to, like, your man and all your brothers would be like, I don't know what you gotta do, but this dude's doing great harm, and I just want him to stop. And they go, and they unalive the dude. You're in a courthouse, and all of a sudden you're like, well, I didn't specifically say for them to unalive him, I just said for him to be stopped, that's all. You'd still be responsible. You would, you would still be responsible. You were a person who would still lead in the conspiracy of, like, murder in the eyes of the court of law. Same shit. It's, it's the same fucking thing. Like, you can't just sit there and send a mob, whether it's people or energy, to some way because of, of whatever it is, and um, not think that just because you didn't use certain verbiage doesn't mean that, like, you aren't accountable or responsible. Because accountability is one thing, but responsibility is a whole other. Because no one wants to talk about responsibility. Um, about two million overall <clears throat> platforms. He's signed to Republic Records. Two million collectively? Big. Yeah, I think he has like 1.3 over TikTok and like 700k on Instagram. Okay. Roughly. And when you say polyamorous, so you're seeing other people? Mm-hmm. And he's um, seeing other people? We had it set up when we first started talking where he could see other girls, but then we did decide to kind of make things a bit more exclusive just because we are... You mean he decided? Right now. Um, and I kind of want to wait until we're in the same city before I would feel comfortable with him seeing other women. Mm-hmm. But he's fully supportive of me dating. Talk- Why? So you can see them and it makes it easier to throw the curse on them if, they, if they're talking to him? Like, of course you'd want him to be in the same city. That's weird as shit. Talking, doing whatever I want with women. He's like very, very supportive of that aspect of my life. Okay. Nick, just be careful with that, okay? Yeah. You saw what I did the point. Their round meatball donated $200. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. I meatball. I guess they're real, Mr. Appreciate meatball. It. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Meatball. Yo, also, I just want to point out, all these women surrounding her are completely uncomfortable with her now. Completely uncomfortable. They're not cool with what she does, especially the one with the, with the spaghetti strap right next to her with her with the high ponytail. Not comfortable. Very much not comfortable. Send me a message on Instagram, man. Good to see you back in the chat. It's been a while. Also, we'll get you. Uh, I think we got to get you uh, like legendary status on our Discord. <laughs> I think for people who've been like regular, and if you're not in our Discord. People who've been like regular contributors over the months, years, whatever, uh, will get you complimentary like uh, Discord status. So uh, shoot me a message question. on Instagram. Yeah. Um, your love spells, for example, mm-hmm. um, you put on that like you can basically have like, someone fall in love with somebody else. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you not feel that's holding somebody against their will? No. So how I have love spells set up is it's like an aphrodisiac. So for example, if I put a love spell on Justin Bieber, does that drink. mean he does that mean he's gonna leave? Say so he spiked their drink. That's n- I'm not. Well, if it's an aphrodisiac, right? You just like damn. No, you that's not the drink. <laughs> at all. I'm saying it's um, equivalent to wearing perfume. It's not. Here's the thing. So if I put a love spell on Justin Bieber, would he leave his wife for me? Probably not. I once knew someone, Bellboy, um, she had put a spell on Young Pharaoh because she believed that that was her uh, twin flame. And that golden, whatever the fuck it is, golden beauty, golden child, something like that, um, was the evil karmic bitch. And all of a sudden, the dude lost his fucking shit. The family fell apart, and she still don't fucking have him. 
I'm just saying about love spells, you cannot start a marriage with kidnapping. You really can. Love spells are meant to be done with the two people doing the ritual at the same time. It's part of the whole hand fasting thing. It's part of the ceremony where they tie the rope around the hands and you bind them together. You do a love spell then to solidify the love you have for each other. You're not just supposed to make a spell that makes it an aphrodisiac or cast it on someone because you think they might have feelings for you. That's how people get unalived. That's how people lose their shit. That's how people become hateful. You can't cast magic on someone and hope that, like, that works with their affections for you. You don't even know that person's going to become obsessive with it. Love spells are absolutely fucking dangerous. Because people will do anything for something that they love. And they won't understand why you're trying to keep it from them. It's theirs. It's mine. How could you? I, how dare you? We belong together. They will break into your fucking house just to be like, why would you talk to me? And then probably murder you because they think that they're going after that you're going after someone else, or worse, just don't want to be with them. Love spells are absolutely fucking dangerous. I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with them. I wouldn't even use it in a, if I did a hand fast ritual. I wouldn't even use it on myself or my partner. No, no, no. We're gonna decide our fate on our, on our own because the universe is, is a lot like God and has a fucked up sense of humor. Never say never, but probably not, right? Because there's nothing to build on there. So witchcraft builds on the energy that is already there and already present. No, it don't. So in order for me to effectively cast a love spell on someone else, they already have to have a lot of feelings towards me. And it's just going to naturally elevate that feeling. And that They also have to give their consent and be present. They also have to give their consent and be present. You can do an attraction spell, a glamour spell on yourself to try to attract somebody. Anybody. But if you're doing it for a particular person... Sure, as long as you don't try to and like enforce the shit on them, you can do something yourself to make me appeal to their senses. Like you know, you can uh, uh, cast a spell, then dress yourself up nice, do your makeup all good, have your hair up real big, beauty queen style, all that shit. Like Lana Del Rey says, right? Um. <clears throat> but you're literally trying to cast a spell to like get someone to like you. To and you think that they got a thing for you. But you actually didn't talk to them or even know. Mm. Communication and increase it. Isn't it awful convenient to think, even from your own perspective, that you could not hex somebody who was famous nor give them a love spell which would actually move them towards the person who wanted them, in this case, Justin Bieber, by saying, well, it's due to the the energies of the universe rather than just the logical improbability that Justin Bieber's ever going to leave this really hot woman for this less hot nobody he doesn't know. That's just improbable, right? Yeah, you probably wouldn't leave. So, them. so the thing is, is like, why I'm, not, I'm, not, like, I'm why, not sitting well, there and well, arguing that. Well, so I'm just saying, why should we assume that this in any way works? Uh, and it's not just essentially you wanting to believe well, that it works. Either all of my clients are liars, or maybe there's something to it. And or maybe all your clients are liars. Or maybe all your clients are liars and have wishful thinking. Even if what I do does not have convince. any impact, it can. It's not convinced though when I have hundreds. And hundreds of women coming to me telling me that they have seen differences in their lives while working with me. Women. Hundreds and hundreds of women. Not a lot, not women and men, women. Hmm. <clears throat> well, do you think that maybe it's just because you put it out there for them, so then they're making more effort towards that person? I think that's a factor, like a yeah. Placebo like effect. a placebo effect? I think that there's a factor to that, yeah. I think so there's a factor. Are, I think it's, 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 you it's kind of... Dollars for placebo? It's kind of the same concept as manifestation, where if you don't put work towards something, it doesn't matter how well you manifest. Okay, but, like, that would assume that, like, you're the one who shoved your ex off the building and broke the back. Because that'd be work. But what, go off, sis. Go off. However, go off. you can put a manifestation out there. You still need to work towards that manifestation. Um, so then you personally aren't actually doing something. You're just like, hey, this has happened. Now you can go do that. I'm naturally... I'm in the universe and now it's happened. Essentially, yeah. I'm uh, building on the energy that's already present and already well, there. Well, but on your website... Mm -hmm. um, Nick, could you pull back up? Go on. So you offer a... There's a section that says love spell. Mm -hmm. 
And I wasn't meaning that. I was, yeah, I was just generally asking. I was no, generally, that, generally that, curious. Yeah. No, you can ask. It's questions. the one just no, right next to it. It's yeah. Love Spell. So you can you can show it. Pull, pull it up. Pull up the site. Okay, so click on Love Spell book today. Uh, custom Love Spell. Uh, love Spell. Actually, wait. Hold on. Before on that previous time, mm -hmm. it just says. So sorry. Go back. Go back, Nick. No, you can show it. You can show it going back. Oh, there should be a button on the mouse that's like a back button. Or you just hit the back button. <clears throat> okay. Well, can you scroll back down to it, please? Okay. So it says, get the love life of your dreams. But that, I mean, that seems like a bit bigger of a representation than just it already elevates Building. an existing... If you go to college, you'll have a good-ass job. How many of us heard that shit? How many of us heard that shit? Right. Thing, but then it also says, um, love spells increase... Oh, can you click on it? Yeah. Yeah. Love spells increase communication, emotion, and will aid in helping you get your specific person and love life you deserve. If there's a third party involved, okay, spells get done within a week. Book. Oh no, let me like look at this. I'm gonna pull it up really big. Uh, love spells increase communication, emotion, and will aid in helping you get your specific person and the love life you deserve. If there's a third party involved, I suggest booking my third party if removal. Third party removal and love spell bundle. So if they're already with somebody, you can do a spell to get them to break up. Which are our breakup spells. And it's just like, so you're going to break up a relationship just so you can get the person? Didn't I just tell you all you can't start a marriage with a kidnapping? Hmm? Did I not just say that? But I, apparently it's okay to like ruin someone else's relationship so you get a chance, right? Like that's not going to come back and bite you in the fucking ass. You want more communication, are in no contact, want an ex back, want them to desire and think of you more. Now, tell me something. I, I, like, once again, you cannot start a marriage with the kidnapping, right? Want more communication, like you only talk to them every once in a while. Are in no con contact, they told you to fuck off and leave them alone. Want an ex back, you're an ex for a reason, but I, I guess you want to dig through that shit, that donut you just shit out to see if you can find the sprinkles so you can get a taste of it once again. It's going to taste like shit, but I guess as long as it looks like a candy, it's worth it, right? Um, want them to desire and think of you more. That's how people die from obsessions and shit. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Well, no contact. Um, Where's the building on, on that? Oh! Prior connection. That they don't want. Do you ever? Uh, um, if they don't want it, then they're not going to come back. It doesn't matter. You can so you like can cast you can cast a hundred different spells if that person has no intention of coming back. But it's kind of like a thing of like it's more me giving wait, a little. But why pay wait, for it? If yeah, it's, yeah. Do you why pay for it? If, it if they happen. want you, why, why the need for the love spell? Mm. It adds to the energy that's already there. What like energy? Taking somebody else's free will away. But it, 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 it doesn't find right. Contact, you're not taking that. How is so, there even energy there? Um, if they don't want that contact, that means they don't want that contact. That means they don't want that. Well, there's a lot of different See, I like her because, like, she's been in bad situations, so she already knows what no contact means. She's the smartest woman here. And it's like, she's not getting it. She won't get She won't get it until she's in her 30s to realize, you know, you can't make, force some... You cannot start a marriage with the kidnapping, and you shouldn't be trying to force people to have contact with you when they don't want nothing to do with you situations why pe two people could be no contact and it doesn't necessarily mean that wait. both parties never want to talk to each other again. Wait, wait, don't wait, want wait. contact. Okay. I have a question. So, let's say a girl, <laughs> like the guy is like hesitant to get intimate. They, mm -hmm. But he likes her, right. she likes him. Mm -hmm. And they're like, um, okay, she likes her. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he likes her. Yeah. She mm -hmm. likes him. Right. I don't think we should be off. Okay. Um, I think I have somewhere. <laughs> Um, so he likes her mm -hmm. she likes him mm -hmm. he's maybe been a little hesitant to get intimate right mm -hmm. um, but he likes her mm -hmm. and the girl wants like she's thirsting for this dude mm -hmm. she's down bad wants a ring mm -hmm. on it she wants no she wants to fuck right? <laughs> oh so she a hoe okay spell 
to further along the sex. Probably not. That's I don't really like getting into that kind of situation. That sounds a little mm. rapey. Yes, really well, but that's the connection. She wants the intimacy. Yeah, I would build off of the emotion that's already there. I would, yeah. Build off would what? A little bit of energy towards what she's. Like, like, like he's explaining to her, she isn't looking for an actual relationship. She just wants the fuck. You're gonna do a love spell just to give in someone to fuck. All you have to do is like put on something that causes lust to come out, or even better yet, get some pheromone perfume. Someone's gonna want to fuck you if you wear that shit, and that doesn't require any magic. That's just a perfume that brings out your natural sense. It affects people's glands. They can smell it and be like, "Ooh, girl, let me lick that ass." You know, like that. Like simple fix, simple fix. But she doesn't seem to understand. The dude's uncomfortable with having sex. The chick wants to have sex. They might be into each other, but maybe the guy feels a certain way and he's heard rumors about her having shit or whatever, but she really wants to fuck him. Is it really fair to put a spell on a man to have sex with you just because you just want sex, but not the actual relationship? Better yet, what if she's a hooker? What, what if it was a hooker and like she wanted to fuck this dude? Tried to get a baby out of him. Put him on child support so she don't have to work the rest of her life. But I guess we're not thinking about that. You know, when she when she hits thirty, it's gonna be bad. Asking for, but yeah, do I don't, I don't, I've never do been, I've send, never um, been asked to do that personally. Do you, do you send people proofs that you actually did the spell? Yeah. How? Um, I take photos and videos of the spell, and then I send it to the client. Um, and then I have them update me, tell me how things are going, and then from there we can develop a plan. Because, I mean, it occurs to Like, me. update you for what? If you're getting revenge on something, you want your clients to tell you exactly how they the revenge went out? Is that, like, that's kind of gruesome. It's really, and it's actually really fucking dark. Um, yeah, like, I'm just letting you know their life is ruined, and thank you so much. Like, is that the progress report you're getting? Is that the, like, they, what you're reading on the report card? You got an S for satisfactory... A B for, like, about time. Like, what the fuck? Like, I listen to this over again. It's just like, holy shit. She's, mmm. It's gonna suck when she is. Sad, sad in return. I mean, that you could sell a spell and then just never do the spell. And then, you know, yeah, they could just say, they could just say, hey. They could just say, hey, I have this result. And you're like, awesome, sucker. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't do that, but... Like if it doesn't work, can you get a refund? Um, no, but I have it stated that it's not a hundred percent guarantee because I can never a hundred percent guarantee results. What I'm doing is not an exact science. It, if it was an exact science, it wouldn't be witchcraft. Um, and people know that when they book with me, and they're okay with that. Mm -hmm. It's enough. it's just increasing Fair the enough. likelihood of something happening. Fair it's enough. not like a hundred percent guarantee. If that makes Fair sense. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. And that's all I want to show you about that, y'all, because that was rather important. And I'm sorry the sound didn't come out before, but obviously it's a good idea that it didn't because this is a little bit shorter than what it was previously. Not by much. You yeah, have hour. But, th but this is just a concern that people should genuinely have here. There are motherfuckers who call themselves practitioners and witches and all that shit who are casting spells on people without making sure... That they, that either the client is legitimate in this shit, that there isn't some, like, sneaky shit behind it, or whether or not they should even be participating in this at all. Um, responsibility is a nah, apparently. Uh, apparently that isn't important. So, that's depressing. Um, for her, I could give a fuck less. It's not my problem. But, that is what wrath looks like. We got one more. And then after that, we got to figure out what's next. Because everyone's running around with deadly sins, and it's like they're not going to recognize it. No one's going to recognize it. And all of this looks absolutely okay, and, you know. Hmm. Of course, wrath is one of my favorite subjects, because I run with wrath and anger. You know, I have that in myself, but after a while, it's just like you got to, like, conquer that. Because if you don't, you're going to harm a lot of people and in the end, harm yourself. So, hope this was an educational video. And if not, that's cool too. Hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you guys soon enough. You be safe, stay suspicious, and bye-bye.